Time now to head over to the kitchen and check in with ABC7 Culinary Director Judy Gallier. And today, Judy is joined by a very special guest. Well, I have Brian here from the Cheesecake Factory. And Brian, the minute you pulled in and people saw the Cheesecake <laughs> Factory is going to be here with boxes, you're here for a special reason. What's happening this weekend? Well, this weekend, uh, Friday and Saturday, is National Cheesecake Day. Uh, so we're celebrating and we're offering any slice half price for our dine-in guests. Hey, pretty cool. Half price cheesecake, but we're starting early. We're going to celebrate today. And what's the dish you're making today? Today we are going to make some chocolate cheesecake truffles. Oh yeah. Now, I mean, you can do this at home. You can stop by and buy a cheesecake at the Cheesecake Factory and then Brian's going to teach you how to scoop it. It's really an easy process. So stay with us. We are celebrating National Cheesecake Day and we're having cheesecake truffles in just a few minutes. There is a successful business and we're going to check back in with Chef Judy to hear all about it. She's whipping up some lunch or at least some dessert with the Cheesecake Factory. That's right, because we're getting ready to celebrate National Cheesecake Day, which happens Saturday, but we're celebrating it for two days. So we're making cheesecake truffles. Yes, we are. And uh, we suggest using either our original or mm -hmm. our chocolate mousse cheesecake, but you can use any of our 30 plus flavors. Anything that you like and mix and match. I'm thinking you around Halloween, want. you could do your pumpkin cheesecake pumpkin too, cheesecake, and that would be like absolutely. a really fun adult party dessert. So, so teach me, like, how do we, what, how do we get started? How do we get these great scoops? Well, what we, first what we do is you get a one ounce scoop. Okay. And you're just going to take your cheesecake, dip it in there. Yep. You want to get it all the go, way in there? Go right in. We got to show them. I mean, come on. That way Donnie can eat the rest of the cheesecake because there's a scoop <laughs> missing. And then you're going <laughs> to pack that down. Okay. Okay. That's the key. Okay, yeah, pack, pack it, it down. in there. Make sure you get it mm -hmm. in there really tight. Then you're going to put it on a platter. Perfect. And then from okay. there, you're going to put that in the freezer, and you're going to want to get it deeply chilled. About an hour to two hours to do the trick to get it to where you want it. An hour be. to two hours sounds good. I'm going to give you a paper towel, Thank you. and I know you've started to temper the chocolate. Now, I assume you need a really good quality chocolate. For yes, this. and you want to get some chocolate discs. You can, discs, you can get them at, uh, at really any grocery store. Um, just find it in the baking section. And why don't we just, we'll show them a little dish of the disc, and that's exactly what we mean. It makes, it melts down more consistently as well, yeah. right? Yes, and you want to keep it on a low heat mm -hmm. and a double, uh, Double boiler, boiler yeah. Which basically means you're going to get a sauce pot and you're going to put some water in it and then a temper pan over the top or, or bowl over the top of it and just really melt that down slowly, making sure you're stirring it um, so you don't burn the chocolate. Sounds great. Now let's talk a little bit about the hazelnuts because you, you had a little hard time finding them and I want everybody to know where they can get them, but what the work is involved they may have to do. Yes, um, it is a little difficult to find the hazelnuts that have been peeled. Um, mm -hmm. We found them at Whole Foods, but they did have the peels on them. So you have to have a little bit of patience to, to get those off. We crunch them down, maybe even rub them together. It comes off a little bit That's quicker. That's what I do. I rub them now. together and I know, right, both Whole Foods and Fresh Market has them. So now you're starting to lightly toast these hazelnuts. So yeah. let's keep tempering the chocolate. Yes. And when we come back, do we get to dip? We get to dip. We get to dip, Donnie. We're coming back with cheesecake and we get to dip. We'll be back in just a few minutes. So let's see how lunch is going. That's a jackpot right there with ABC7 Culinary Director Judy Gallagher. She's in the kitchen with our special guest, Brian from the Cheesecake Factory. Donnie, I already won the lottery working with you and cheesecake <laughs> next to me. Wahoo. So we're about to get ready. You've scooped the cheesecake and we're going to get ready to actually dip it in the tempered chocolate, right? Yes, absolutely. So what you want to do is you're going to use two forks. Okay. Uh, the first one you're going to just kind of put on here. Put it down in there and use the other one to balance it as you're putting the chocolate over it. Oh, um, look at so that. So just going to kind of put it on great. there. Okay. And now, this is basically, these truffles are not only just so much fun to make at home, this is really like an homage to your new cheesecake. To our that's brand new cheesecake right? that's coming out on Friday. It is the mm -hmm. chocolate hazelnut crunch cheesecake. Wow, that sounds, I know, Don is salivating over there. And that comes out on Friday. It starts on Friday. Very cool. And it's cool. included in our Any Slice Half Price promotion that's going oh, on Saturday, it, Friday and Saturday. I think Don may come Friday and stay through Saturday, if that's okay <laughs> with you. Absolutely. 
so the, now you're adding, what have you done to the hazelnuts? We know you had to take the, the little peel, that, uh, that outer peel off, and you've toasted them. We toasted it up a little bit. Okay. Um, you don't want to make sure, well, you want to make sure you don't burn it. You're just going right. to start getting that hazelnut smell. Once you start getting that smell and it starts to darken just a little bit, it's time to pull it off. Right, so you get that nice nut aroma and the oils release. Absolutely. And then you just roll that in the, the chopped chop nuts. It. So what yeah. do we do next to basically get it from here to look like that? Well, from this point, you're going to put it back into the freezer to get it kind of deeply chilled again. Okay, and about so how long? About an hour, and it'll be it'll be just perfect for serving, great for parties. Um, the kids love to make them went alongside it with you. Um, it's I just a bet. good time. Yeah. And I, you know, I think if you have a variety of cheesecakes, you can almost make a cheesecake bar, which oh, is really fun, and have yeah. your own truffle bar. And we personally would like to be invited to each and every one's <laughs> cheesecake bar to help them scoop some truffles. This has just been really, really good to to learn some methods. Now on the cheesecake. When, because it, when you buy a cheesecake from the Cheesecake Factory, it comes, it's already sliced. Yep. Once somebody unthaws a cheesecake, can they refreeze some slices? You can, but we don't really recommend it because mm -hmm. then you're gonna, it's gonna change the flavor profile, it's gonna change the texture of it a little bit. Good to know, because we get so many emails where people ask, like, is there so, you know, am I allowed to refreeze? So we are giving you permission to eat your cheesecake and eat it now. Brian, you're doing, you're rocking the house. There people are lined up to have some. We're gonna come back and take a bite in just a few minutes, and yeah, Donnie, I got one for you. And we're back, and we have a very simple but an elegant dessert. And I love this because it's so great for entertaining, and I love that you said it's great with kids. This might be a fun way to celebrate the end of the first week of school that will be coming up in Absolutely. August and things like that. So tell us again quickly about your dish. Uh, it's, it's really very simple. It's uh, an original cheesecake or, or chocolate mousse that we recommend, or really any of our 30 plus flavors. Um, you're just gonna take a one ounce scoop, put it in the freezer, get it really deeply chilled, melt some chocolate, toast some hazelnuts, chop them up, dip it, put it on there, put it back in the freezer, get it ready to serve, and, uh, and just enjoy whatever kind of mixes and matches that you want to do. That's awesome. And while I take a taste, and you got to get one in there too, tell me about National Cheesecake Day. Well, National Cheesecake Day, we're actually celebrating two days. We're going to celebrate Friday and Saturday. Uh, and our promotion this year is going to be any slice half price for our dine-in guests. And we are also on Friday, we're introducing our brand new cheesecake, uh, our uh, chocolate hazelnut crunch cheesecake. See, so you don't have to cook. You can just go buy a cheesecake. Remember, you can find these recipes and so much more by going on mysuncoast.com and clicking on the dining page. A toast to you, Brian, and to cheesecake fans everywhere. We'll be celebrating, and Don, I'll save you a bite.